Yo, what's happening, y'all? This is Piano Tutorials with Keys, and I am Julian Keys. And today we're gonna do New Editions Can You Stand the Rain Piano Tutorial. This is well long overdue, um, considering how many people have requested this over the years, but here we are. <laughs> so, um, just quick um, things before we actually start. Um, I'm the type of pianist where I don't really play, if, if you know music technicality, I don't really play melody in my right hand and I play chords in my left hand. I usually play bass in my left hand on the bass and I actually, I actually play um, chords in my right hand and that's primarily because as far as for melody, um, I'm a singer so I usually sing melody. I don't have to, I don't usually play that. So. Um, the premise of this is showing the overall structure of the chord structure within this song. So just um, giving that that quick little disclaimer before we start. All right, uh, let's do it. So first verse, what we have is E flat, which consists of G, B flat, E flat. Okay, and this is only right hand right now. Only trouble. Second is F, A flat. C. This is a second chord, okay? Which is an F minor. And then it goes right back to G, B flat, E flat. A e flat. And this is actually an E flat first inversion, okay? Because E flat root is E flat, G, B flat. First inversion is just taking this E flat, making it an octave higher, keeping these other two, okay? So once again, first verse, it goes. On a perfect day, I know that I can count on you. Repeat. That's not possible. Tell me, can you ever stop? Okay, it just repeats like that. Now, for the bass in the first verse, it just goes from. D flat, E flat, repeat. Repeat that, okay? And most of those, you, you repeat that twice going around, okay? So together it goes. Now, now going into um, the pre-chorus, it actually goes, you have um, an A-flat first inversion, which is C, E-flat, A-flat. And then the second one is an actual, um, an E-flat second inversion, okay? E-flat second inversion, once again, E-flat, E-flat, G, B-flat first inversion, going up an octave. So once again, it's A flat first inversion, E flat second inversion. Okay, and then it goes to E flat first inversion. So, and then you go to e, A flat, the root, and then it goes to F minor. So together, the F minor, F, A flat, C, okay, and then back to E flat, so, mm. Left hand now is actually when you play that first um, that A flat, you don't play this bass until you actually hit that E flat. So da 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 F G 
A flat. Da da da. D flat. E flat. Da da da. out to E flat before you go right into the um, chorus, okay? Take note too, like I said, when you start that off, you play that A flat first, the very first note, and you don't play this bass until you hit that second note, the E flat. So now the chorus goes right back to this E with an E flat, second inversion, B flat, D, um, E flat, and G. So it's so So E flat, second inversion, E flat, first inversion, A flat. Then F minor. Doom, doom. Then tell me, baby. And then E flat, first inversion. Then A flat. Go back to that E flat. F minor. Okay. That's the F minor, and then it repeats. Tell me, baby. Mm. Mm. Uh, can you stand the okay. I didn't repeat the individual notes because these are literally they're going back and forth between E flat and A flat. Just different inversions, okay? If you don't know what inversions um, are, I can make a video about that. Now the left hand, the bass, it goes from F, G, A flat, D flat, uh -huh. and then it goes to this G. F, G, A flat, D flat, do, do, do. Repeats F. that goes Again, that accent is G, A flat, E flat. Okay. You start that song off like that. Mm -hmm. 
So with all of that being said, you have a complete song. You have the verse, you have the pre-chorus, and you have the chorus, and it repeats itself. It repeats itself over and over again. Now, you have certain accents that you can play within that song. What I showed you was simply the skeleton. You have to make the meat of it. You do your own thing to it, right? And like I said, this isn't necessarily um, a piano cover for the melody of the song. This is just the basic structure to it. Um, I'm a pianist who likes flexibility and freedom and creativity, and it, a lot of times you do that with an improv. Um, sorry if this video is not for those people who are uh, who gravitate more towards playing with melodic structure, with you know chords and the in the bass. Um, but like I said, this is just this feel. Okay, so once again, at the end of the day, you have verse, um, pre-chorus, and chorus, and they all sound completely together, like. So thank y'all for watching this video right here. If you have any more requests as far as for piano tutorials or even covers, uh, definitely put a comment below or you can direct message me. Definitely subscribe to the channel so you can stay updated with any new videos I post and you can keep in contact with me via my Twitter at Julian Keys, K-E-Y-Z, put some swag to it. Um, Instagram, same thing. Facebook, same thing. Snapchat, same thing. Um, if you want new merchandise, definitely hit my website. Um, if you just want to keep um, keep in contact with me as far as for any shows I got coming to your city definitely go to my website check out the shows um, And then you can also join my mailing list. Um, so once again, thank you all for watching and uh, keep in contact. Love y'all. Thank you